one way of understanding the competitiveness of small businesses today is to look at something called the North American Industrial Classification System, NAICS. And this cuts up the economy into about a thousand categories. If you ask the question, in how many of those 1,000 categories are there more examples of competitive large business than competitive small business, the, exam the, the answer is seven. So in 993 categories, we have more examples of competitive small business than competitive large business. Now those seven are things like running a nuclear power plant or running a centralized monetary system. And I think we can concede that, it, yes, it's unlikely that a small business will, will do that. But number three on that list is rocketry and guided missiles. Now, if there was ever an activity that was unlikely to localize, it would be a business with intergalactic intentions. But it turns out that of the 10 businesses in this, ca this category around the country, three are locally owned. Three are local small businesses. And I think what this demonstrates is that your community, no matter how small, can have a viable small business producing almost anything. And its ability to succeed does not reside in some abstract declaration by a pointy-headed economist, sorry, you got to be bigger to be competitive. That doesn't matter. What matters is you have smarts, you have ambition, you have good ideas about your product, you execute well, you have good personnel, and that kind of ability, I believe, is in every nook and cranny in this country.